All right, guys, welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about paracord. What is it? What's it used for? So if you're curious, if you're interested, stay tuned through the intro. What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoyed EDC videos, beard product reviews, gear reviews, then you have definitely come to the right channel. Please consider hitting subscribe. Now, as I've said in a couple recent videos, we are normally outside, but the weather has been pure crappy. Uh, so we are inside today. So today I want to talk about what is paracord. Now, I just finished filming a video on how to splice paracord, and I thought, what better way than just roll into explaining what paracord is. So if you're searching uh, paracord projects and you're like, wait a minute, well, what actually is paracord? Or you see paracord projects and you're like, what is paracord? This is it. This is paracord. All right, so a little bit of backstory on paracord. Uh, let me get to my notes here. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, are you enjoying this video? If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, make sure you do that. So, paracord, also referred to as parachute cord, is a lightweight cord made of nylon that usually has several strands inside. It was originally used for parachuting during World War II and since has evolved from a military essential to a commercial and personal tool that is used by many. And on the surface, par uh, paracord might look like any other rope, but it is far from that. Um, many types of rope, maybe from polyester or pro polypropylene, but paracord is made from nylon and is known for its incre incredible strength to weight ratio. So strong, in fact, it is said that it was used by astronauts to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. All right, so what is so cool about paracord? Let's find our working end. So I picked up this 100-foot shank of paracord from Timu. I have a link in the description below. Uh, it's a really good price, really affordable um, especially if you're just wanting to play around with paracord and learn your way around working it and making stuff with it, or if you want it for an EDC survival situation to have, it's a really good place to pick it up to have you some. So this was a hundred foot shank and I may have paid $5 or less for it, which is a lot less than what I used to pay for paracord when I was making bracelets. We'll say that. So let's get our cut in here. Um, so you can see it's got these little white strands sticking out so there is a difference in paracord so let me go to the swiss army uh sd classic here that has a pair of scissors so i'm just going to go in here and just cut a piece off so let's get these scissors put up now get that out of the way so this is what makes paracord special this right here. Not only the strength, uh, the strength is really awesome, and it's a huge deal when it comes to this kind of rope, is having some really good strength, but you have different, different uh, paracords are going to have different strands. This one is seven strand, so you actually have seven strands that run throughout this 100 foot shank of paracord you have seven little strands that go from one end to the other. So if you were in a survival situation, you could cut your shank of paracord, pull out one strand, and you can use it for fishing. Um, you could pull these out if you needed more than just your, your main piece. You could pull this out, use these as guy lines, tie out lines for a shelter, whatever. There's so many different things you can use paracord for um, and that's just barely hitting the surface, but this is what makes it really, really awesome for, uh, survival type situations is you have one piece of rope, but inside that piece of rope, you have seven more pieces of rope and you can tie these into bracelets, necklaces, um, belt, anything you want to be able to store that paracord. Um, when I was making bracelets, I was doing cobra weave. And it is about 
with a cobra weave, a tight cobra weave bracelet, you get about one foot of cordage per inch of weave. So think about that. That's about an inch right there. You could get one foot of cord in that. So if you didn't use it for a bracelet, you just wanted to uh, organize your paracord, you could do it in a cobra weave and you could make a, a 10 inch lanyard to hook to your backpack. And that would theoretically be about 10 foot of cordage, which is pretty awesome. And then if you needed longer, you could of course uh, gut it and tie all these ends, ends together. That's seven pieces that would be 10 foot long. So you got 70 feet of rope. Um, now I'm not sure the tensile strength of these small pieces, um, but the, the big strand is really, really strong. Um, 550 is what it's referred to, 550 paracord. I've always heard that it would hold up to 550 pounds. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, constructive criticism only, please. Um, I'm not sure. I just don't know that. I've never used it for like weighted reasons. Um, I've used it to tie stuff down in my truck. I've used it for um, hiking and camping. I've used it to tie bear bags um, while hiking. Use it for that kind of thing. So paracord is really awesome. And I know that there's people that are that maybe see paracord stuff and like, hey, what's so special about that paracord bracelet? Well, that is it. Um, you can take this apart and you can do so many things with it in a survival situation. So there's that. Paracord is awesome. Uh, learn to make some projects. I've got a few on this channel and uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, information about what is so cool about this rope. If you want to do paracord projects, the only thing you really need is paracord, a lighter, and a pair of scissors. So that's all you really need. Oh, that's the knife. All you really need is scissors, a lighter, paracord, and an idea. And you can make so many things with paracord. Uh, so there you go. Hope you found this video helpful, useful. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Check out some of my other videos. And uh, I promise. I, I want to promise that next time we'll be outside, but I, I, I don't know how the weather's going to do. So we'll see. So until next, comment. Yeah, comment below. Let me know. Have you ever made anything with paracord? Um, if you have, what did you make? And uh, tell me about it. And I'll see you in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. So until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.